My name is George Fontaine, and I started Strolling Bones Records so I could put out the kind of music I want to hear, like this new one from my old pal, Austin legend, John D. Graham. Okay, let's start this story at the end. The day I died. July 4th, 2018. I just played a show at Fitzgerald's in Chicago, Illinois, and I died. I had a heart attack after the gig and died. No breathing, no pulse, no nothing for about five minutes, I'm told. Then I guess I wasn't dead anymore because I woke up in the deepest sleep I ever had. It wasn't my first brush. I'd been in a terrible car wreck back in 2007 and spent two weeks in the hospital. But even then, I was right back at the Continental the following Wednesday playing my gig. Making the donuts. Who doesn't like donuts? A couple of years after that heart attack, I had a stroke. It didn't affect my speech so much. Didn't affect my cognitive abilities. Didn't fuck up my face, although my face was pretty fucked up to start with. But it affected just about everything else. Honestly, death itself was not that bad. Really, it's the coming back to life part that's hard. I walk with a cane now, and there's numbness on my right side. I do have to apply bow rosin to my pick fingers so the pick doesn't just slip away. For a little while, I played sitting down because I was afraid I'd lose my balance. But I worked through that. Last three or four months, there's been a chair on stage, just in case, but I haven't needed it. Even at 64, it turns out I'm pretty hard to kill. But even then, I don't stay dead for long. One thing I know for sure is that all this life and death stuff has given me a sense of urgency to get as much of my work out there as I can in whatever time I have left. It's like they say, time waits for no one. Or was it Tom Waits for No One? No, it's Tom Waits for Everyone, Time Waits for No One. Every day I step into the ring. Sometimes I go 10 rounds, some days only six. Some days I just fall back in a chair, pick up my sketchbook and draw bears. And other days still, there's not much more I can do but pet the dog. How I explain things to myself is through my art. So it wasn't that big of a surprise when the song started showing up. Now picture me in a rowboat, holding a stick with a string. I've got my line in the water. And like a fish, a song will show up and tug at it, and all I have to do is reel it in. Other times, you pull up a little bitty guy and you go, no, little buddy, you're not ready yet, and you throw him back. See You By The Fire, off this new record, came to me in a dream. Me and some old friends were walking through this frozen wilderness. But in the distance, we could see the light of a fire. So we walked towards that fire to get warm. And I woke up thinking about it and realized that everybody that was with me in that dream, on that walk, had passed already. And I thought, oh, we're going to meet up by the fire. Friends, I don't know what's waiting for me on the other side, or if they'll even let me through the gates. But I hope to meet you all there. Hopefully around a fire, where we can warm our hands, tell stories, share some laughs, pass a guitar around. Hey, but no hurry, okay? Until then, you can find me at the Continental Club on South Congress in Austin every Wednesday night for the last 27 years. Pull up a chair. Got one for you right here. Hell, it's not like I need it. Only Dead for a Little While, out November 10th, 2023, on Strolling Bones Records. <laughs>